Like I'm at about a 17 degree, I want to say. Mm. And I'm guessing you're probably at like a 25 in how you sharpen on the I sharpen at a 20. A 20, okay. Yep. So I just there's just so much more reveal on mine than yours. And I can already hear someone in the comments screaming at us like, no, you can totally get that knife sharper on the Kenna. I could have done a better job on the Kenna. I mean, I could score as good as FKJ. So it's just one of those things. And we're back. We're back. All right, Josh, how did how did we get back here, man? Well, we did a recent video and we uh, we got some feedback <laughs> and there's some things we'd like to change about a recent piece of content. If you haven't seen the video, it's Elite versus Elite and we made one critical mistake. We compared the Precision Adjust Elite and the Ken Onion Elite and we sharpened the knives at different angles. The backstory there, we were three quarters of the way through that video and Kyle and I didn't talk about it and we got to a point where he said 17 and I said 20 and we went, oh, we're not reshooting this. Well, smooth is, what do they say? Uh, fast is, oh, fast is smooth and I don't know. Smooth, smooth is slow, slow, is, <laughs> slow is smooth, smooth is fast. <laughs> right? Butchered that one. Uh, <laughs> Should have done it right the first time. Here we are. We're back here to right our wrongs. All right. So in our last video, uh, if you guys didn't see it, we put these two elite systems head to head and Josh came out on top. But apparently in the comments, I think I kind of won because all people seemed to care about was how sharp the knife came out and edge retention. So we're going to run this back and do it a little differently this time, though. We're sharpening both at 20 degrees. Yep. Uh, and on the Ken Onion Edition, we're going to run through every single belt. Last time I sharpened as I would sharpen at my house to get a knife sharp enough for me to use. I didn't use all five and six, uh, the stropping belt at the end. I think that, not, that we can make a knife sharper with the Ken Onion system. Which, which to be fair, it makes sense if with that competition, speed was a factor and versatility was a factor so josh was going for the points and it paid off and he won by it was a lot being quicker but i still think you're gonna outrun me on the precision to just even going through all those belts so i know it's faster still that's not what we're testing we're going to test if we get it ultimately as sharp as the precision adjust which i think is a tough a tough hill to climb but we can get we can get close yep. <laughs> the other change we're going to make is we are going to sharpen a kershaw what's it's it the clash the clash uh, cool little speed safe knife, um, but it has 8CR MO V13 steel. I think you got it in the right order there. Um, <laughs> just a, just a basic steel, uh, nothing super special. Last time we used the WorkSharp Edition Benchmade Bug Out, which has Cerakote Black Blade 20 CV. It's a beautiful knife and edge and holds an edge really well. Yeah. So I think we will see a little bit more dramatic of a failing edge, which will help us test edge retention better by using a, a lower end steel. Yep. So I think we're ready to get started. Yeah, let's do this thing, man. Nope. No, 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 oh. no. Nope. One last change. To make it fair, let's switch them. What? Have fun, boys. My baby. <laughs> All right. I'm up I to guess, the challenge. Let's do this I guess thing what now. Steven says goes. <laughs> Let's get to work. All right, I'm gonna need those belts. And the knife. Yeah, that'd be good too. <laughs> Whoa. first but I think you're good for it man. Mm. How you doing over there? I'm almost to ceramic. <laughs> well I guess it's my turn to go get some coffee my friend. <laughs> Have fun. I'll be here. <laughs> Alright, 
Still at it, huh? Oh, it's almost there. But don't look, it'll cut you. <laughs> oh, really? This is looking pretty good. That's I think, sharp. I think the strap is good. That give you a run for your money. Mm -hmm. This still has the edge. We'll see. We'll see. Here you go, we got some more coffee. Looks like you're getting pretty close. I'm done. All right. Calling it done. Okay. Nice, man. I think it'd probably be good to review these. Review these scores before we start scoring them again. So these are the scores from the last time we did this video. And we've got the precision adjust. And what we did is we cut that filament on the best tester three times and then average scored it out to give, an, you know, what that sharpness was on each knife. The Ken Onion scored an average of 295, which comes in at like new high-end cutlery, about what you could expect when you buy a knife, what it comes with from the factory. And then the Precision Adjust was 154, um, which is almost double-edged razor. It's just ridiculous. Sharp. Sharp. Um, then we used the knives and then tested them again to see how re edge retention came out. And the KO actually held up better. And I think that'll probably hold true again with the convex edge, but we'll see. Anything to add there, Josh? No, I think you just wanted to glow it again. Yeah, maybe. Let's get this cleared <laughs> off and run it again. Right on. Precision adjust first. 181. 193. 159. And the Ken Onion Edition. 127. Yes! <laughs> it feels sharper. 154. Did I get these mixed up? 146. You got me beat. All right, Josh. So we've got the scores, and uh, I can say I'm, I'm happy with how they turned out. Uh, it's close, though. Both these knives are blistering sharp, but... Somehow the KO came out on top, which I'm actually even a su little surprised by. Uh, I think that cloth is dropping belt. <laughs> Put it over the edge. Uh, so Precision Adjust came in with an average score of 177. Again, uh, anything in between 1 and 200 is like a razor blade. Super sharp. Same thing for the Ken Onion at 142. Just edged you out by a few. And honestly, like depending on where you cut on that filament, it could have gone either way. So I think we're starting out with a good baseline here. Let's put these things to work. See you, uh, edge retention's better. Last time we did 50 cuts on the cardboard, 25 cuts on the hemp rope, and 10 cuts on the hose. You up for that again? No. I, dude, that rope part was brutal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do that again. Can I remember cut it, that. Cut it My down a little bit? Dude, it's blistering. <laughs> it was awful. Let's, uh, let's okay. modify a little. 50, 20, 10. Yep. I'm down for that. Cool. And? Right, that part. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Let's do it. What are you? You're just nailing it onto the table. Yeah, man. <laughs> That's the most edge retention part of it. Oh, yeah, come on. <laughs> Thanks for making it 10. That's a workout. <laughs> Dude. All of my hands, <laughs> both hands. <laughs> okay, edge retention. Well, the testing is complete. Now we need to score the knives again. Yep. I'm gonna hop on the best tester, score each knife three times again. We'll average it out. And then we'll see which one decreased the most. I guess which, or which one decreased the least would 
be the one that has the best edge retention. Edge retention yep. This test should be a bit more fair. The best scores in the beginning were a lot closer together, probably as close as you're gonna get, even if you sharpen the same knife on the same system, that type of average in the same way, that type of average is, is pretty close. Yeah. 150 and, or 142 and 177. That's I don't know if we tried, we could get that close <clears throat> again, so. Yep, yep. yep. All right, well, it's best test. This is for the precision adjust, test one. 347. 302. 288. Ken Onion, test one. Man. 327. 250. 330. Well, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I thought, I mean, you did beat me on, on overall sharpness in the beginning. And the way you look at it, then you say, okay, well, precision adjust started more dull, but it lost less of an edge compared to the Ken Onion, which started razor sharp and ended technically sharper, mm -hmm. but it lost more of its edge because they end in almost the exact same place. Yep. Which totally breaks our hypothesis. 100%. In theory, a convex edge is stronger. There's more metal towards the tip. Uh, that means in early like testing phases, it would it would demonstrate a sharper edge. Mm -hmm. Or sorry, no, a more blunt edge. The, the convex would be should, a more blunt should edge. Should hold up behind that mm -hmm. edge longer. And that's, I think some of that's gonna be tough. Um, I don't want to get into, well, it's going to happen. We're going to get into the mechanics of the test. But when you cut just a, a simple monofilament twine, I don't know how much a convex is impacting that because you're not cutting any any sort of sure. depth. But if you were cutting, uh, in, in real life cases, you know, if you're cutting through a steak or you're cutting through uh, you know, even cardboard boxes where you might feel like a, a flat grind is slicier. Mm -hmm. But this is really, I mean, we're really nitpicking here. Um, you guys see the results. I'm curious what you guys think also. I totally thought that the Ken Onion Elite would demonstrate that it would have a, a significantly better edge retention, or at least, you know, in this sort of a test. Sure. You know, we, we obviously dulled the edges enough to, to create some, some dullness. They're still sharp. I mean, these still bite into your nail. Um, they'll still slice oh, yeah. through paper or cardboard. 300 is the sharpness of a, a new knife. Right. Um, these are sharp knives. Yep, and that's part of where I'm at too with it as I'm find, trying to find some takeaways here is they're still super sharp. So we haven't even reached the point of like them dulling like mm -hmm. to be able to get to a place where... I don't think you'd feel any roll. Right, and so that's part of me also wondering like do we just keep continue testing on these knives and then report back further down the road where we just keep using them and... You saying you want to cut rope? Like No, I do not want to cut any more rope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying we make them like a carry for a little bit use them and then mm. test them again down the road or maybe we do just start cutting things at the same time regularly and see which one holds up for a longer time and report back i don't know yeah we're not scientists if you guys are or at least your keyboard scientists uh <laughs> please let us know how we can or how you interpret this yep. um you know what what other tests do you want to see how can we do this different we may run the same test again and again um we're curious about this just as much as you guys are. Yeah, and one thought that I had when I was reading the previous comments was people were like, well, you're not sharpening to the same angle. Another question I have there is, is a convex 17 degree the same as a flat whoa, grind whoa, 17 whoa. Don't degree? introduce all that in there. <laughs> just saying, man. It, it gets pretty complicated. Have it out in there. Love reading those comments. We love hearing back from you guys. And we'll keep making videos like this if you want to keep seeing them. There's a, there's a simple takeaway here. Both of these sharpeners our sharpening knives to stupid sharp razor results. sharp, stupid sharp edges um, that I would be proud to carry and use and warn my kids about and all that <laughs> stuff. So these are sharp knives and, uh, and you can get there a variety of different ways. And I think it's just fun to nerd out on the, you know, pull some data together, run a test in a controlled, as controlled of an environment as we can and yep. see what the results we can find for you guys. Catch you guys on the next video. You guys.